hello all you awesome people out there who is watching this video and i'm going to continue to show you how to use the jquery data table plugin so for this first of all we need to install our jquery data table plugin so i'm going to go to this particular site and i'm going to show you what is jquery data table plugin which i have been talking since long so i'll go to this data tables.net so if you have some data which you want to display in this particular format where you can search for a data say for example i'm searching for 33 so i'm getting a real time search plus i can reduce the entry since 33 is not there i'm just gonna move so there are 25 entries which can be shown and there are total number of 57 entries which are there and you can page through all those entries so this is what a capability of a jquery data table plugin is now we want to use this plugin in our project so I'm gonna go to the download section okay here I'm gonna use this download builder to download the file now first of all it is asking whether you require jquery for this table since we have already added all those jquery bootstrap files and I'm not going to add this jquery so no jquery now styling yes obviously we require styling for bootstrap now it is asking whether you want to include the styling library or not so I'm saying no I don't want to include the styling library because I already have it so I'm gonna just say okay bootstrap then it is data table yes obviously we require the core data table now it has many extensions extensions which you can explore so I'm not gonna go to this one but here it is asking for minification or debug okay so minified will be uncompressed version and debug would be a full version so I'm gonna use the debug which I'm going to use only for the development purpose and how you want whether you want individual file or you want a single file okay so I'm gonna say okay I want individual files so you can see there are three links which are available so one is your bootstrap.css to style the table then others are your jquery data tables.js which is the core file and this is the bootstrap.js file to add the bootstrap capability to your jquery data table so individual file and it is asking for CDN link or local file so I'm gonna use a local file and as soon as you click on this download button after you do all those configure for your download builder you simply click on this download file and your data tables file would be downloaded so what I did I have already extracted that folder in my location that is project I'm giving a demo for spring project and I have already extracted data table the content of that particular folder so once it is extracted okay so you can add the jquery data table.js file to the proper location so the proper location would be our assets folder that we have created previously so i'm gonna open this so you can see there are three folders css images and js so i right now there are many files which are available here different on different different conditions that we selected so here i'm going to use the jquery dot data table this is the core file we have minified version also and we have this version since we downloaded it has given us the entire file so i'm going to copy this jquery dot data table because i like to use the full version in production development while production we are going to minify it okay so here we are going to go to our this assets inside web app assets js and i'm going to paste it here So once it is pasted it is added inside this one but this is only added inside our js folder i need to link it to my project so for that i am going to open our page.gsp this is our master page where we have already added jquery bootstrap and my app the order is important since this jquery data table is dependent on jquery okay so what we'll do we are going to edit after our bootstrap because later on i'm going to add those bootstrap also so here I'm just gonna copy this script. I'm gonna say we have our data table plugin. And here I'm gonna write the name. So the na name is jquery dot data. Make sure you're using the proper name data tables. You can see the T is capital. So that's why jquery dot data tables dot js. So this script has been added. And the rest of the code for my data table I'm going to add inside my myapp.js. So that's how you're going to add your jquery.datatables.js. Now I'm going to create a new data table element with some dummy field inside the list product.jsp. 
so I will open my list products.jsp okay so I have already commented before that I am going to display the actual products here and I have added some breadcrumb okay so let me just use this particular row if class equal to row I'm gonna have div class equal to call or extra small 12 it means take the entire grid structure okay and here I'm going to use table and I'm gonna give an ID this is important we are supposed to give ID for this particular table so I'm going to give it as a product list table okay and here I'm going to add some of the bootstrap classes so class equal to table table stripe table border okay so I have added this particular table with the ID of product list table 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 stripe and table border now in this I'm going to add a head now only for demonstration purpose because I'm gonna use our JSON data later on I'm just going to add two header that is th I'm gonna say ID use a name for that particular product okay so as you can see in my table there is only head part which consists of two headers the ID and the name I don't have a table body or table footer here okay so this T head is there and now I need to code some JavaScript because so table element has been created and dummy fields are there now I'm gonna code the JavaScript to fill the table with some dummy data so what the data would be the data would be nothing but a collection of some product so we are going to create an array in JavaScript okay which will again consist of another array having those fields th those two fields which I kept that is the ID and the name okay since it was a header field you can give any header value in that particular text and will be for an other information like for other property that you can use on jQuery data table you can refer to the documentation but I'm gonna give you a demo so you will have some basic idea how to use that jQuery data table okay so I'm gonna open my my app.js code for jQuery data table first thing create a data set which will consist of our data so where we have certain products equal to so this is how you create an array in JavaScript again it will have some collection of array so I have an ID of one the product name is ABC similarly I have more so comma from the last one two three So we have eight products. The name of the product is XYZ. Okay, it could be anything. That's not an issue. PQRO, MNO, WBB, CFG, HIK, LM. So why two? Because in my table, if you see product list .jsp, this list of products .jsp, I have ID and name which I want to display using data table. So again I will go to my app.js so our data is ready in this one now I'm gonna get that table why I'm using dollar here because I'm indicating this in jQuery element which is wrapped around jQuery and I need to fetch that table so how can I fetch I'm going to use that ID selector of jQuery that is hash and inside this list products.jsp that ID I've given is product list table so I'm copying this ID and I'm gonna use it here product list table okay now execute the below code only where we have this table so this table is only available in view products okay so how can I do that I can simply write if dollar table dot length the length value would be more than zero 
okay only when it is available there otherwise it won't be and this code won't be executed so let me show you a demo console.log inside the table let me show you what I mean to say with this particular dollar table dot line it means this code will be only executed if we are having that table inside our page okay so for that let me again restart my app because I have done many changes there getting executed and let me open my HTTP colon localhost online shopping getting executed Finally, I have my website visible here. Now, if I show you Control Shift I, so Control Shift I will open the console for this particular Chrome. So that is fine. That is for favicon.ico, but you cannot see any message in the console which I printed. But as soon as I click View Products. you can see I am inside the table I mean we have our table available here but if I go to online shopping it won't execute that inside table code so that's why I've written that if condition only displayed only when the table is present so that table is present inside this view product page that is our show all products mapping inside which we are viewing it so it is going inside that table so now as you can see there is no data which has been displayed here because I have not written a function on my that table element so after giving a demo for this console.log let me move ahead and say okay dollar table we are going to apply the data table function on you okay and it consists of an object so inside that function I'm going to pass an object and I'm going to say data colon so from where it will get the data so we have already created this product so let us copy and paste it here so that's all you need to do you just going to use data table you are specifying the data it will take from which data set the products data set as soon as I save it and I do a control F5 you can see my data is present here that that eight data which I have added okay and by default it is showing me how many entries 10 entries and I can search for any data so MN as I type it is giving me real time search that is MNO and if I type A B C like that now I can also change this particular menu as well okay and I can also show how many records I want to display by adding few of the properties okay so which are those properties I will again go to my app.js here inside this object which I created I am going to specify the length menu property and this length menu property will again have a collection so there are two arrays which would be there inside this one the first array will indicate how many records I want to display so I want to display 3, 5 and 10 and there will be one more called as minus 1 okay 
so minus one will indicate I want to display all the records otherwise display three five and ten record here I'm going to display the string that I want to display so I'm going to say three records the next would be five records and ten records and last word I display all records so this is how you create a length menu it is having a collection which is having two arrays first the number and what you want to display inside that menu so this menu is nothing but this particular menu which is shown here they show 10 25 50 10 so instead of that it will display three records five records ten records and all okay and there is one more property I would like to discuss that is page length okay what should be that page length? it means how many records that should be displayed by default say if I select five so there should be five records which would be displayed okay so length menu and page length are the two properties so we just need to do a control F5 to refresh our catch and load the new JavaScript so as you can see since the page length was five and it is displaying five records okay and you can see one two three four five and it is showing one to five of eight entries eight entries are there and if I want to move if I click here 2 it will move to the next entry that is the 6 7 and 8 entry and if I search ABC it will again search from the entire and it will show me the ABC records so it is a great feature that you can have inside your project using jQuery data table plugin but this is not looking nice right now because I'm using only the dummy data this is not the data that I'm supposed to use I'm going to display the data which is available in my database but this would require me to convert that's why in my previous video I've shown you how to convert that data in the JSON format okay so you can refer to the documentation as I said previously to check out for various other properties but in my next part I'm gonna show you how to show that JSON data in our jQuery data table and make it more nice and more presentable instead of showing it like this way okay thanks for watching